guys welcome back to my channel this is cooking with Afton how are you guys doing well in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make my version of my copycat DIY Popeye chicken sandwich right at home everybody is rushing for this chicken sandwich and it's all sold out so I decided okay I'm gonna try and make it at home and I'll show you guys it so I'm gonna show you guys step by step how I make my Popeye chicken sandwich and my chicken breast was so crispy, flaky, and delicious. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy watching my video. Give my video a thumbs up, and please, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. All right, so let me just show you my ingredients. Enjoy. Okay, guys, so these are my ingredients for my version of Popeye chicken sandwich first we have some cilantro chili pepper garlic powder thyme onion powder black pepper parsley basil ginger powder paprika all-purpose seasoning and some chicken seasoning we also have some milk here and some lemon juice where the hell are all these ants come from anyway <laughs> and here is my two chicken breasts because I'm gonna um, make two sandwich today I tried to find the big chicken breast but I didn't get to find the big one so I just have these this size here what I did I took um, a rolling pin and I pound it down to get it a little flat so I'm gonna put in my ingredients now so we're gonna put in some cilantro and we're gonna put in our chili powder because it's gonna be a spicy sandwich our garlic powder our dry thyme onion powder I don't have enough condiments to put them in the container so I'm just leaving them in the bag we have some black pepper some parsley flakes and some basil flakes So we're gonna put in some ginger powder guys this is my DIY okay this is my version of my Popeye chicken sandwich and you guys can try it at home as well this is my paprika all my ingredients and measurements will be in the description box down below all right this is my all-purpose seasoning And my chicken seasoning I know it's a lot of <laughs> ingredients but trust me your chicken sandwich is gonna come out so delicious all right so I'm gonna mix up all my ingredients now mix them up together real good so and get all these delicious flavor Right, and then I'm gonna transfer them over into this bowl and put all the ingredients over here. And in Guyana, we don't have buttermilk, so I make my own buttermilk. So, this is a full cream milk here, and this is my lemon juice. So I'm gonna mix the full cream milk with the lemon juice and that's gonna cause, make it turn to a buttermilk, all right? And then I'm going to pour the buttermilk all over the chicken. And I'm also gonna put some, 
some hot sauce as well. I'm gonna pour some hot sauce. One second, guys. And then we're gonna mix everything together. And you're gonna put this in your fridge. You can put this in your fridge overnight or you can leave it for a few hours, all right? But overnight is better, but you can leave it for a few hours. If okay, you guys, so if it's you the like. next morning. All right, so And I just we'll be took back. my chicken out of the fridge. It has been marinating overnight in the buttermilk. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna um, season up our flour now. I'm gonna show you what I have. I have some cornstarch. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is put in two tablespoons of your cornstarch. So put in two tablespoons. I'm gonna put on the camera more. Yeah. I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of your cornstarch into one and a half cup of flour. Then we're gonna put in our baking soda. I'm gonna put in one tablespoon then I have one teaspoon of salt here I'm gonna put in some garlic powder all the ingredients and measurements will be in the description box down below all right we're gonna put in our chili powder put a lot of that because you want it to be spicy and you're gonna put in some onion top onion powder guys now now it's very 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 early I was trying to do this video before my baby wake up but he wake up <laughs> anyhow we'll continue we're gonna put in some paprika and some ginger powder we're gonna put in our chicken seasoning And our all purpose seasoning. Okay, so we're gonna mix up our flour now. Mix up all the ingredients. Okay, then mix it up now. In our egg wash, in our egg now, you're gonna put one tablespoon of hot sauce here, like what I'm putting there, and then you're gonna take your fork and you're gonna whip it up. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now, my oil is hot in. I'm gonna take my chicken. Out of the buttermilk, put it into the flour mixture. And then I'm gonna put it into the egg mixture. And then I'm gonna put it back into the flour mixture. And then I need to finish, put it into the flour mixture for the second time. You're gonna put it into your oil. Fry. All right. It's frying there now. I'm gonna let it fry for about eight to ten minutes. So we'll be back. Okay, guys. So my chicken breast has been frying for about eight minutes. When it was four minutes, I turn it over and then I. So, as you can see here, it's finished frying. See how it's flaky? Wow, looks so delicious. So, here it is, guys my Popeye chicken sandwich breast. So, I'm gonna put another piece inside to fry. Oh my god, this smells so delicious, guys! So delicious. Okay, so this is my second piece. This has me 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna make my um, mayonnaise spicy sauce to put on top of my chicken sandwich. So I have some mayonnaise in here. I'm gonna put some hot sauce. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of mustard. And I'm gonna put a little bit of chili powder as well. It's gonna be really spicy. And then I'm gonna mix it up together. I'm also gonna put like a teaspoon of ketchup in it as well. And mix it up. Just to go and put my sandwich in the pot to um, butter up and we'll see. So here's my chicken guys. Okay guys, so I'm going to butter my bread now. It's just some parsley flakes falling it just now. So I don't think it's anything. I'm going to butter my um my sandwich roll here. And then I'm going to cut it into over there so you can toast a little bit all right let it toast until it get brown and then we're gonna assemble our homemade Popeye chicken sandwich we'll be back okay guys so my bread finished toasting so what I'm gonna do now is put in my sauce that I make. Put it all over the bun. I don't have pickles and I don't like um, pickles, so I'm gonna use cucumber instead. All right, and then I'm gonna put in the. chicken guys you see how this chicken flaky and nice oh yummy so I'm gonna put in my chicken like this and then we're gonna put in more of this delicious homemade sauce all right and then I'm gonna put in put on my bun all right so here you have it guys so here you have it guys this is my homemade Popeye chicken sandwich let me just turn it up so you guys can see here it is guys homemade Popeye chicken sandwich I'm gonna try it on camera let you guys see okay guys so this is my version of my DIY homemade Popeye chicken sandwich so here you go guys so I'm gonna taste it on camera and let you guys see. This sandwich is so big. So I'm gonna taste it now. I hope you guys can see. Here it is, I'm gonna taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. The sandwich is so delicious. Oh my god, my <laughs> baby. <laughs> mm. yeah. I'm back. I had to calm my baby down. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy watching my video. Give my video a thumbs up and please, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. All right, and I hope you guys try my homemade Popeye chicken sandwich. Trust me, my sandwich was so delicious. Alright, so take care. Bye.